to change that today. We're in the same stand we were in last night. The only difference is today I have my crossbow. Just trying to make my life a little easier. Last night when we sat here, I kept trying to pull the bow back, pull the bow back. And every time I go to try to pull the bow back, these deer saw me. So, at this point, I'm not really even hunting for a buck. It's supposed to be like 72 today. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, I will be happy shooting a doe today. So, I, it's like quarter of six, I think. I got in here late. Yeah, I left my tree stand here from last night. So, I made things a little easier. But, it's gonna get hot today. And it just seems like buck movement and the heat don't work. So, I'm gonna sit back, try not to fall asleep because I'm dead tired. And, uh, these doe, I mean, I'm right in their bedding area, so they gotta come to me. So, hopefully the plan works out, and at the very least, you know, it is November, there's always a possibility of bucks chasing. We seen it last night with a little buck. At the very least, we still have a chance that a buck could come in here after the doe. There could just be bucks out scent checking. And, you know, this is doe bedding. It's very obvious that these doe are bedding in here. So, that's the plan. I'm sticking to it. Let's do this. Obviously, you guys are on a, a camera mounted to the tree, and I'm 
trying to get the camera on him, and all of a sudden the whole arm drops like a good four inches. So by that point, the deer are like 50 yards away, and I'm thinking, what the hell am I going to do? How the hell am I fixing the camera arm? I had the bow in my hand at this point. How am I going to fix this camera arm? So I hung the bow back up played around with the camera arm over here. I can adjust it here for like side to side, up in side to side movement to level it up. So I hang the bow up, I level up the camera arm. The deer are staring at me. I know it's real dark footage. I promise you guys it was legal time. Uh, the camera makes everything look much darker. Right, most of the time, like, I quit my hunts 10 minutes early just because the camera can't see. Um, so she starts walking out in front of me here, and I'm fumbling around with the camera, and I didn't zoom in real far on her because when I zoom in, the camera will get darker. It's a camera thing, the aperture closes more. And it uh, doesn't let as much light in, so I had to keep it away. Hopefully I can fix that, make it look good, brighten it up a little bit, but. Whew. That was good though. There's another deer out there, they're coming back through, I think. Oh shit, it's a bug. It's a bug. I heard him fall. <laughs> yeah! It has to be the buck that I just seen, Dad. It has to be. Like eight points? Yeah. It has to be the one I just seen. Hopefully I got I'm at that. I heard, I heard you shoot and I heard the commotion. I'm gonna get down. I'm gonna go back to the truck. All right, you want to okay. come down to me? We'll take care of mine first. Unbelievable day, buddy. <laughs> Unbelievable day. Well, I'm going to get down. We're going to take care of my deer first. And then, that way, my dad's deer has plenty of time to expire. I'm pretty sure he's dead. I, I, heard, I, I heard noise over where he is. And I'm thinking... Well, that was weird. And I heard a whole bunch of, like, you know, commotion in the woods. I was like, all right, that was really weird. And no sooner did that happen, my phone rang, and it was him. So, I'm going to get down. Um, I guess I don't, need, I don't even know if I have a pen. 
So that could be a problem. Because legally, you're not allowed to move the deer until you have a pen. So, all right. I'll see you guys on the ground. So, just for reference, that's the tree I was in. Right about... Right about there, right in the middle of the screen. All right, here's the arrow. Or the bolt. Buried. Looks like good wood. Get him? Did you get him? I didn't even go look at you. Find your arrow. Yes. Good blood. Co covered in blood. Good. So oh. is mine. Oh, well, you already found it. Are you ready? Well, I just found the arrow. The deer's laying out there. Yeah, that deer, that buck went in like, right over there. Here. Did you get him on video? All that brush is in the way. And the camera wanted to focus on the brush and not on him. But he went in there and I grunted and he looked at me. And then I snort wheeze and I thought that's gonna get him. But it didn't. He just, right in there. He must have went all the way around and all the way up to you. What was it? You said like 10 yards? Close. Close. He knew something was up. He did not stay on the same trail. He, he broke off the trail and he knew, he looked right up at me. He knew something wasn't right. and. It's all I could do to get him into the scope. And you know, I knew it was like 10 yards. It was close. Yeah. I waited till he gave me a, a, a decent shot. It, it was going to be a kill shot. I didn't want to. Yeah. I had a shot at him right in the brisket, and I won't do that. Yeah. All right. Well, it's no wonder the deer see me so easy. That's why I was just saying to everybody. It's no wonder the deer see me because I stick out like a sore thumb but she's right over here a decent buck, though, yeah if it's the same one I saw I was gonna shoot him ten. yeah big doe and we smoked her the lungs. And which way did he go?
thought there was, what was that? There's a plan. I've seen this morning. Who would have thought 70 degrees today? Dude, he is a freaking brewing. He's I mean, got a big body on him. That's a three year old deer. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. I think someone hit him. I think he's been shot in no man's land recently. That looks like a hit. I hope he's not all infected. Well, boys, got these deer in. Oh, feels good to finally have some meat going into the freezer. So we got a, we got, it's crunch time right now because it's supposed to be 72 degrees today. And uh, we got the deer on ice for now. We're gonna go process them. I don't know if I'm going back out tonight or not. Um, 72 degrees is a little too hot for me. But we'll see. I don't know what's going to happen. So I'm just going to make that into the next video. I won't make it into this video. So I just want to say thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.